Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to install and configure Drupal CMS on Vista CP control panel. So let's get started. First of all, we need to create a user. Let's name it Drupal. Password is Drupal123. Let's give it a email address. First name, last name of the site. Send login credential to email address. We can send this uh, login credential to this email address. This is an optional feature. Let's create the user. Now we have created the Drupal user. Now log out from the control panel and we can log back with the Drupal user. So here you can see the Drupal user logged in. Let's create the our website or domain. We can name it Drupal dot mail server guru.com. This is our web server IP address or control panel IP address. And from this uh, control panel, we are not providing any DNS and mail support. This is not our DNS server or mail server. So we are deselecting these options. Now click the add button. So domain drupal.mailserverguru.com has been created successfully. Drupal is a database based CMS. So we need to create a database before uh, the CMS installation. So let's add database. Let's name it DB and it will form like this the username underscore the database name and the user also DB so our database and user will be same we can uh, name it different but we are uh, mentioning here as the same let's give it another easy password Drupal 123 and again we can send this login credential to an email address just leave it blank right now let's click the add button now the database Drupal DB has been created and we can check the Drupal DB that it is created by opening the open PHP my admin now the username will be Drupal underscore DB password will be Drupal one two three here you can see the Drupal DB has been created and these database will be used by the uh, CMS installation so we will not use this database from phpMyAdmin uh, from here directly to upload the uh, CMS content to the site's root directory we can use the Vesta CP file manager or we can use FTP client Vesta CP file manager is a new addition to the Vesta CP and it works great. So let's use it. Let's go to the web directory, Drupal .mail server guru and public HTML. This is our root directory. Let's delete these both default files. We don't need these. Let's upload the Drupal package. We have downloaded Drupal. 8.8.2 let's extract it to this location public html we need 
need to move all these files to the site's root location here. Move. So it's already moved. Let's click the public HTML here. We can delete this directory. We don't need this one. And also the tar.cz package. OK. So the uh, tar.cz package is extracted to our site's main root directory. So if we hit now on the browser, we will see the installation page. Drupal dot mail server guru dot com. Here we can see that our Drupal installation uh, page appears. Now choose language English, save and continue. Select an installation profile, let's make it standard. Save and continue. Database type MySQL database name drupal underscore db database username same password is drupal123 we can see the admins option this is the out uh, this is our host this should be the local host table name prefix this is optional we are not mentioning anything right now save and continue so it will connect to the local MySQL database and it will install Drupal CMS and create the tables. Now it is installing Drupal. It is showing installed file module, text module and everything. So the installation is going on. Now it successfully installs. Now it shows the configure site. So let's give it a site name. Let's say drupal.mailserver.com, site email address, I'm giving mine, username, site management account is the admin, password, admin123. okay regional settings default country these are optional right now check for updates automatically no need to set right now let's save and continue now it's configuring the first site or the default site here you can see that welcome to drupal.mailsvergo.com so it is configured and con congratulations you installed drupal so we successfully installed drupal cms on vista cp so thank you for being with me and if you still didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so i'll see you on the next video bye